Hi everybody, Shannon here. Okay, I want to give you a couple um, short stories of some paranormal experiences that I've had um, that happened to me at my job. Um, this was a few years back. This is when I worked at Home Depot. I'm not saying that Home Depot is haunted. Um, I actually think that these experiences were brought about by a new employee that I befriended. Um, she's no longer with us. She um, she kind of died a few years back unexpectedly. Um, it was very strange. Um, they chalked it up to some sort of like heart condition or something, but she never had previous heart problems. She was just found dead one day, and she was like five months pregnant or something, five or seven months pregnant. So she had she died tragically in a very strange way, but. Um, back when I worked with her, you know, she had just come onto the team. She just joined us. You know, I got along with her great. You know, me and her, we were like besties. Okay. Um, really cool. She ended up sharing with me some paranormal experiences she's had in her life. I, you know, shared mine with her. You know, we just really, like, got along good. And when she had told me, like, some of her experiences, some a lot of her experiences seemed to be kind of negative always seemed like it was, there was like um almost like a violent tendency to like her visitations and such i don't know it, it was very everything she told me was very negative and you know most of my experiences haven't been negative most of my experiences have been really good you know um nurturing if anything so i don't know why she kind of had this um darker energy um playing with her or whatever messing with her so anyways, like I said, these um I didn't start, this was when I had just moved to Florida, okay, that I was working at this job because I had transferred um, from Rhode Island to um, the Home Depot in Florida, okay. Since I was living in Florida at that time, before she started working, I wasn't having my normal paranormal experiences, and I usually have paranormal experiences, usually, I should say every time, okay, it doesn't matter where I'm living. Okay, it's one of those things. It's like paranormal activity, only real life shit, because paranormal activity is a bunch of bull crap. Okay, everywhere I've moved to, I've always had experiences, um, and most of them are really, really positive, so it's, you know, nothing bad. So don't think that every experience is like demonic energy and shit like that, because it's really not. Okay, and a lot of times we just misperceive them. So, back to the story. Okay, this chick. You know, she started working on my job. She started sharing her experiences with the paranormal with me. Okay, um, one experience that I had, okay, and it's really not like a huge deal, but it was just very strange to me, and, you know, it surprised me. It was surprising, okay. Um, when I worked, I had my head down. I was part of the inventory management team, so I was always, you know, looking at a computer screen, counting items, and printing out price tickets. So I'm looking down at my screen, and I felt, you know, somebody put their head right here. Like, I could, like, feel them breathing, okay? Now, I figured it was my boss, because my boss used to, like, pull pranks like that on us and stuff. He used to just, like, randomly surprise us, you know? So I figured, like, it was my boss. So I'm like, ah, ha, 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 and I look, and there was nothing there. But I could feel something breathing on me, so, and I could feel the space being taken up the same way you do if you can feel that somebody's entered a room even if you can't see them you know it's that type of feeling and like I said I felt breathing so I mean pretty obvious that somebody was there turn my head nobody's freaking there nobody was even behind me I turned around did that nothing okay um so about five minutes later got my head down again again I feel something you know breathing right there in my freaking head space so I'm thinking, okay, it's nothing. Nothing's there. So I go to, like, put my little price ticket on the shelf, turn around and look, and bam, there's my boss. With his freaking head right here, trying to pull a fucking prank and scare the shit out of me, and it did. It worked. Successful. Okay? And I asked him, like, if he was here, like, five minutes ago, and he was like, no. Because I didn't want to tell him, like, I felt like somebody was here already. And it wasn't you, so maybe I'm seeing or hearing. I didn't want my boss thinking I was crazy. Okay, but he was like, no, I was at the other end of the store. I was just coming over here just now to check on you. And so, yeah, nothing was there the first time. Somebody was there the second time. Who was there the first time? I don't know. Okay, um, second experience that I had was a little bit more um, scary. Okay, a little bit more surprising because I actually saw something. And it was, um, 
it was weird because, okay, when you work at, like, any sort of type of retail store or whatever, you're supposed to greet every person that walks by you, even if you already greeted that person. Like, that's their mentality. Like, they don't care, okay, if you already greeted and asked that person if they needed help. Like, they want you to do it again. So, honestly, they don't really care about the customer. They just freaking care about how their store looks, which, you know, they just, I don't know, they're not involved enough to know what the fuck goes on. So, you're supposed to greet every single person. So, um, which isn't bad, but still. Um, I'm looking down at my screen. I'm doing my work, okay, and I can see somebody in my peripherals walking, you know, towards me okay um down the aisle and so i see them in my peripherals but i'm like in the middle of something so they're coming i'm wait gonna wait until they get like right next to me and then i'm gonna say hi welcome to walmart how can i help you okay or not walmart it's home depot <laughs> so you know i'm just waiting and i can see them getting closer and closer and closer and i'm just waiting till they get like right here and then i'm gonna say something waiting and waiting and waiting and i could this is what they looked like to me. It looked like a man, like, of tanner skin with dark hair and, you know, average freaking height. I don't know, like, 5'10 or something. Um, so that's what it looked like to me as this person in my peripherals is coming up closer. It looked like a tan man with dark hair walking. Okay, so coming, 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 coming. He's right here. So I'm like, hi, welcome to Home Depot. There was nobody there. Nobody was there. I checked the freaking aisles around me. There was nobody there. Okay. So that was creepy. That was very creepy because, you know, I seen this person approaching me. I didn't look directly up at them yet. I was looking down at my screen, but I seen them coming. I knew that they was coming. I seen them right next to me. Hi, welcome to Home Depot. And there was nobody there. Like, I literally started talking and look up and there is nobody there so yeah that was creepy and i ended up telling my friend about this to um the one that just started working there and i told her and i was like um this is what just happened some freaking creepy stuff and she's like oh yeah she's like i've been seeing orbs in the store lately so um and if you don't know what orbs are they're usually like um either um they're like little circular orbs. They can be big. They can be small. Usually seen floating around. They're usually white or black um, or whatever. I don't freaking know. I guess they could be any color, really. And, um, you know, the, like if you've seen the paranormal shows and stuff, they say that orbs, you know, are spirits like dancing around and stuff. But honestly, like half of those paranormal store stories, when they got the camera, I'm pretty sure it's like, um, you know, just, uh, what do you call it? Just specks of like dust and dirt. So, um, yes, I'm moving around, so, yeah, that was, uh, that was my video, this is my whole house, my battery is dying on my freaking camera, so that's why you all get a quick little view of my house, so, um, yeah, that was, um, my paranormal experience at my job, it was pretty creepy, black figure person, um, coming towards me, Come to find out they're not even there. Creepy, scary. And, you know, like I said, when I told my friend about this that just started working, she's like, oh, yeah, I see an orb, you know, floating around and stuff in the store. And so I was just like, okay. And that's kind of when I came to the conclusion. I was like, I'm pretty sure it's her. I'm pretty sure she's bringing stuff in here because none of this stuff happened before she started working here. So, yeah. Normally, I don't get affected by other people, um, their energies or anything like that. Like, if somebody has a negative energy or whatever, like, it usually doesn't affect me. But for some reason, it did. And then after those initial experiences, that's when I started experiencing some more stuff at home. And I was pissed. I was like, no, no, because you're following this chick around. And you're obviously nothing good. And I don't freaking want you in my home. Okay, so, yeah. If you guys do have any, like, negative experiences or whatever, um, or you think something's bad, what have you, um, tell it to go away. It's not as complicated as you think it is. You don't got to, like, go to the store or grab some holy water and be like, the power of Christ compels you. Like, you don't have to do all that. It's, I think it's freaking hilarious. Um, all these, like, exorcism movies and paranormal movies and stuff. It's really funny. You don't have to do all that. You just have to, you know... Tell it to leave. Be very firm 
and strong. And don't just speak the words. You have to feel it and know that you're threatening it, that it, it, it needs to leave. Not it better get out. It needs to get out right now. It will go. Like you're telling it, go away. But otherwise, chances are you've had experiences. Chances are they're not negative. Chances are half the time you're um, misconstruing you know these events there are some negative events and they do happen i have had that happen before but most of the time it's either they're pulling pranks on you or you're misconstruing information um you know about how they're trying to make contact with you you think it's negative because they like made something fly off the shelf like you know that could just be because they're trying to get your attention not necessarily because they want to destroy your house like you know if they like freaking break something that's weird all right so um until next time guys i hope you enjoyed this video sorry i had to like move you had to see all like my house that doesn't look that clean right now <laughs> um because my battery was dying so until next time guys bye